take a walk with your boy. Let's walk it out and figure it out. Sometimes we go through things in life we don't understand. And sometimes you just need not to try to understand none of that stuff. Because when God has you walking, you gotta walk that straight line. Don't look at what you can see. Because a lot of times what you see really ain't what you see. And like he say, that we wrestle not God. Not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and high places. And they come disguised through people to try to tear you down to what God got called for you. And God, you just start molding you as a child. You let the devil jump on you too. And all you gotta do about your purpose is look about what you went through from a child coming up to where you are now. And God, you be cultivating you for things that you don't even know you're gonna be doing. Kinda like that movie Karate Kid and they had them waxing on, waxing off, and they made certain muscles in their body stronger. God do the same thing. Yeah, you're doing stuff over and over and over and over and over again. Not knowing later on in life you're gonna be using that. So don't despise the day of small beginnings when you start something or a project or whatever that's been put on place on your heart. So since you place it on your heart of God. Especially when it's, you know, on the up and up and you pushing God, that's him all day. And you just gotta let that go and let everybody else go and start chasing your dreams and start letting people define who you are. Because God only made one of you. And when he made that one, he broke the mold. The only you can perform the things that he put you here to do. And never look toward nobody else to get you validation for who you are. You are God's image. You made in his image. You are his child. He walks and lives in you. And everything that you read and everything that you do, it comes from him. So you must get positive thoughts. Get away from all negative people. Get away from all things that draw you away from God and start focusing on things that bring you closer to God. But those things right there, that's the only thing that's gonna keep you with him. And you keep that positive mindset, he's gonna throw positive things your way. How can negative things attract positive things? It can't. If you think about it, when you go out and, and you're in a negative mood, you attract negative people. But if you're positive, then you're gonna attract positive people. And think about it like this, if you're chosen, and you're doing what God tells you to do, it's like Abraham. Anything you connect it to, gonna be blessed. So y'all have a blessed day in the name of Jesus and keep everything pimping and give God glory in the name of Jesus. Amen.